Live from the board game room, it's the Insane Board Game Freak Show with your host, Media Insane Board Game Freak. Come on, let's go, everybody. <laughs> In this episode, Detective Game for Juniors. Travel Clue Junior Game. Quick, to the board game room. Alright, here it is. Clue Junior. Travel board game. This is a pretty cool, you know, like, toy game. It's a travel case. Well, it comes in this box, obviously. But in the game, though, you flip the switch. And you open it up. And now it's got all the pieces in it. So you get four different kinds of boards, front and back. Of different kinds of games that you can play. Or cases to solve in the game. You know. So I thought it was pretty cool. And now in the game, you also get, you know, a pad with these sheets in it. Rooms, kids, pets. And uh, I would just make photocopies of these. You know, or probably just like, it's a four-player game. So I would probably uh, make like four of these and um, laminate them. And then just keep them in here because it's a storage, you know, space for the uh, game. You get these uh, four player markers too. So, and it's cool. So you can be either, you know, a boy or a girl. And they have them on front and back. So, you know, this guy here and that girl and so on and so forth. So now in the game, I'm going to break out a couple of these. You got, uh, these cards here, and you got this, you close the door again, and then you get the spinner here, already on the game, and then this is where you're going to find the clue, it's got like that x-ray vision thing, so I don't know if you can see it, but you could see the room in there, or something like that, it looks like the staircase, so... That's where it happened. You know, the staircase area in the house, probably the living room or something. Anyway, I'm not going to stare at that all day. But you get the start spaces, green, blue, red, and yellow. So it's like playing Clue, but it's cool though, because you get to use these, these little nubs here to walk around the game. And then you also use them... To pull up the doors. And then. Ta-da. You know the dude's hanging out in the laundry room. Waiting for his wash to be done. <laughs> With the bunny rabbit. <laughs> then you got. You know the girl. You know. In the bathroom about to brush her teeth. Uh, the parrot's chilling out. Watching TV on the couch. And you got, you know, daddy's in there, I guess, uh, talking to the dog, wondering what he's smelling on the floor, while there's a flood that happened in uh, the kitchen, because the kitchen's running water in the sink. Great. Uh, and this one, you know, the kid's sitting up on his bed, just chilling out, hanging out with the cat. All right, cool. So... <clears throat> You're going around the board now, and um, the object of the game is to solve the mystery by figuring out which child is hiding in which room with which pet. Okay. <clears throat> so, um, you know, you got the board, and this game here, and uh, now um, each player, you're going to need a pencil, you know, um, you got to pick out a mover and stuff, and uh, you're... Basically, you're going to spin the spinner and um, move your mover that many spaces in any direction. If there's already a mover in that track space you would land on, then you move to the next available space. If there's a mover in the keyhole, 
you want to put your mover in so you can look or whatever you gotta wait until your next turn then without spinning a spinner you move into the keyhole and look at the clues so yeah you're gonna open up these doors here so um now uh what you do next depends on where you land so like if you land on the rug outside of the room you're gonna put your mover in the keyhole and open the door so what do you see on your detective notepad you're gonna put a check or cross off over here what you see in the rooms you know and um you know uh what kid you see in there what pet you saw and cross off the the door you looked under and sometimes you know you'll see a child or like a pet and sometimes both so you know you're gonna have to cross out whatever you see so stay here with your mover in the keyhole until your next turn on your next turn first move out of the keyhole onto the rug and then spin and move and don't count the rug as a space all right um, now, if you land on the secret sp uh, passage stairway, um, move through the secret passage stairway and come out on any other secret passage stairway space on the board. So, you know, if you land on here, you're going to come out here or here, you know, whichever one you choose to go to. All right. So, um, now if you spin this, if you spin the spinner and you get a magnifying glass right here, then, um, that means that you got to move to any keyhole on the board that doesn't have any uh, player on it and take a peek inside and mark your notepad what you see. You stay here with your mover in the door until your next move. Okay, so like for example, like um, you'll probably see like a, a part in the game like for example, like uh, you'll see you saw Peter Plum in the bathroom with the rabbit. Um, your notepad would look like you know, this, you know, um, and you should also check off the door you looked under, so, you'll check off the door that you looked under, and you'll check the bathroom off, Peter Plum, and you'll check off the rabbit, because that's, you know, where you saw, what you saw in the, in the room, so you check off what you saw, and that's it, now, on your turn, if you have crossed off all the rooms except for one, all that all the kids except one, and all the pets except one, then it's possible elimination. And you may announce that you want to solve the mystery. Tell your opponents which child you you think is hiding in the, which room with which pet. Then slide the blue clue revealer door open and check if you are correct. So um, were you correct? As I said, no. I mean, you can't really see it right now, but whatever um so now um don't let the other players see the answer though until you know you are correct so if you were then you win and if you were correct you add if you weren't correct then you added the game um the others you know keep playing until somebody solves the mystery in the correct way whatever um now notes um, you do not have to land on a rug by exact count. Careful, though. When you open a door, you, you don't let your opponent see inside, okay? So you got to keep the information on your notepad secret, all right? So you just, you know, you, you hide it. Um, you may open a door more than once on a, on a turn to make sure you got the clues right. Uh, winning. The first player who reveals another enough clues to determine which child is hiding in which room with which pet wins the game. Mix up your mix up or turn the the mystery cards and play again, and that's basically it. So and that that's the clue, travel clue, clue junior game. All right, I'll go off top and see what my final thoughts about the game here. All right, so final thoughts. What do I think about the game? Wow, 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 wow. Clue junior game is really cool. I like the whole concept that they made it into like a toy like playset kind of thing or something like that like that's travel it's not pocket size but you know it could fit in a briefcase something like that if you're going on a trip somewhere or something like that you want to play a quick fast game um the game's kind of cool you know i like it, it, it it's clue what is it to talk about really you know but you know if, if you're familiar with the game clue that's that's how it's used, all the other games are played too if not then this instructional basically tells you 
you know, a basic way of playing Clue and, you know, um, but, but like, there's, there's no cards, there's no weapons, there's no, um, you know, room cards or anything for anything, you know, it just, it's not a big board or anything, it's because it's, you know, Clue Jr., so it's basically for kids, but it's cool for kids to play with the families, you know, with this game, you know, it's, it's, it's a cool game. Yeah, you know, I like the, how you can land on the magnifying glass and then, like, you know, you just um, take a look at, you know, the doors. I love how you just open up the doors using the um, the play markers. You don't really have to use the play markers to open up the doors. You can just, you know, open them up with your finger, and that's it. You know, the staircase uh, concept that's cool, too, that you can travel from staircase to staircase, you know, for faster travel around the board. That's basically it. There's not really much to talk about. I like the whole thing, though, about how you can just open up the... You know, that, that blue hatch or something like that. You slide it open, that blue door, and then you could see the answer, you know, to the game. And uh, it, it's hidden in there, so nobody else could see it but you. I like how the spinner's attached to the game board. And that's it. It's 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 cool. It's, <laughs> you know, it's fun. You know, I, I like the pad and everything. I would, I would just make, you know, instead of like erasing, you know, different things, whatever, you know, different pad, uh piece of paper or these things i would just um just laminate them you know that's all just photocopy three more copies of a clean one or you know that's it and then just laminate them and use dry dry erase markers you know mini ones and then try to fit them in the um you know in in the case that's all but that's pretty much basically it that's that's clue junior game travel get travel edition uh, that's it, everybody. Listen, this game is over. Board game freak out. Rawr.